started drawing around the age of three when I did a uh, family portrait for my parents. The ideas can sit in my brain for several years before they come out, especially for the larger works. And the smaller works are a little bit more impromptu and happen a little bit faster and that's how I work out my ideas and my concepts for the large drawings. Growing up, I didn't have a ton of exposure to the contemporary arts, but I was obsessed with animals and species, and so we would get old encyclopedias or catalogs of birds and plants and animals, even 20 different types of pine trees, and I would draw the different types of pine trees or draw the 10 different types of finches, and I was just obsessed with all those uh, cataloging of the diversity of nature. So anything that had to do with that kind of ability to see diversity and just a wide variety of different species. As I get older and I have more experiences in my life and more world events and just my idea of the world is changing, the drawings are changing too. And this is one of those examples where a lot of my work is almost a snapshot of a moment in time, where this one is all about movement and kind of capturing this falling idea. This is the first big piece that I've done that's showing a little bit of a new style. And this piece is about movement, almost like a motion picture. Everything's telling a story and it's not just a paused moment in time, it's capturing movement in time. Most of my artwork draws a correlation between the human experience and nature. I use animals, nature, and other objects as symbols to convey our realities. It's almost a novel, especially in the larger works, of all of the events and the things that have happened and making sense of the world and the loss of our environment. It's lots of little vignette and similar to what happens when you look into nature, when you're out in the forest and you look a little bit deeper and there's a squirrel and a little bit deeper and there's an insect. It's that idea of delving in and in into this universe, which is similar to me drawing these kind of absurdities of life. So it's a way of me telling my story, but also bringing people in to give them their own story. We grew up in a very rural part of Iowa. They just opened the back door and then we would disappear into kind of the wilderness. And I found peace in nature with the animals, with the insects, with the frogs and the grasshoppers. That's how I connected with the world. That's how I made sense of the world and that's where I felt most comfortable. We moved to LA when I was in elementary school and it was a very difficult time to find myself in a place where I felt there was no space left to be explored. And so what happened is I started turning kind of inward and I started drawing and I would mix animals with other animals and I would be creating these worlds that I felt kind of were taken away from me from leaving. And my entire life now has been this taking animals as my muse to tell stories and to make sense of the world around me.